everyone has a purpose, and according to Oprah, your real job in life is to figure out as soon as possible what that is, who you are meant to be, and to begin to honor your calling in the best way possible. Now that's classic wisdom, put the way only Oprah knows how to. And when she joined me on my podcast, Fill in the Blank, she had plenty more revealing insights just like that one to share. Take a look. You know, the worst thing you've ever said to me, do you know what it is? You no, remember I don't. It? We're at the Tina Turner concert. We're in the front row, right? Yeah. And I love Tina Turner. And we're about an hour into the concert. I feel a tap on my shoulder. <laughs> and? I said, yeah, what? She said, what concert are you watching? <laughs> I said, what? She said, what concert are you watching? I'm clapping and tapping my foot. And it's like, I'm so offbeat. So offbeat in another arena. Not in this one. I mean, not you, in this one. You know, you and Robin look like backup singers. <laughs> I do remember that. That yeah. was a fun night, though. You, you said you don't believe in coincidences. So what do you believe in? I believe that there is preparation meeting the moment of opportunity. And I can say that is true for my life. I can say it's true certainly for what I saw in your life. People may say, oh my gosh, it's lucky that Oprah Winfrey, that you had that trial. It wouldn't have been lucky had you not been ready. And so the same thing is true for me in that moment and anybody else who's listening to us right now. The, the opportunity shows up, but if you're not prepared in that moment, then there's no such thing as luck. Yeah, I think you got to seize the moments for sure. And I have a strong belief, and I think, most people don't agree with what I'm getting ready to say, but I don't think crises or disasters create heroes. I think they reveal who the heroes are or who the cowards are. Yeah. They were just revealed by the circumstance. The same thing is true for fame, though. The thing that I am actually most proud of is that I am the same person I was. My feet are still on the ground. I'm just wearing better shoes because what fame does, what the, the attention does is it puts a magnifying glass so you get to see who the person really is. Yeah. So you actually just become more of who you, you are. I have another question for you about the book. You said life is about growth and change. And when you are no longer doing either, you've received your first whisper. This is in chapter three, which is yeah. about whispers. whispers. How do you know the difference between growth and change. Well, I think you know the difference by the way you feel. So I would have to say the moment you stop growing into new discoveries, a new way of seeing things, a new way of creating things, that's the first whisper that you need to do something to change. When you feel stuck or you feel bored, if you feel bored, then that is a signal, a whisper to you that something needs to change. People really need to get this book and put it by their bedside and read themselves to sleep at night, right? Yeah. Have you taken the time along the way to um, stop and look around from time to time and go, wow, what a ride? Mm-hmm, yeah. I have, and I think it's not like what we do or have done changes the world, but it certainly changed the narrative. Everybody who's ever watched a show and decided, I'm going to leave my abusive husband. Everybody who said, I'm going to get on a better diet. I'm going to go get my blood pressure checked. It's everybody who said, I'm not going to hit my kids anymore. And that is your legacy. Yeah. It's every life you've touched. I don't have any kind of regrets about it at all. I just think, what an amazing life. Thanks for coming over and doing this. Well, I just wanted to fill in the blanks if I could. Yeah. You have. <laughs> you filled in the blanks. Oprah's new book, The Path Made Clear, Discovering Your Life's Direction and Purpose is available right now. It is an amazing, insightful read to help you realize your true calling and start living the life you've always strove for. It truly could be a game changer for you because if anyone is living their purpose in life, it's got to be Oprah. You can listen to the full interview with Oprah right now on my podcast, Fill in the Blanks. Now, I also have a new podcast series, Analysis of Murder by Dr. Phil. Now, both of these are free, and you can find them on the Apple Podcast app. I want to thank all of my guests today, and a special thank you to my dear friend, Oprah. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you next time.